What is up guys, it's B-Boy High Star Pro. Coming in with a new video today, what I want to be doing is reviewing the LG RH8 in-game. So yeah, uh, let's start off. So this car is based off the Nissan GTR. The only thing is I wish they would add an updated GTR because this body style is not only the old one, they could just do a better job, you know what I mean? Not that they didn't, they did a decent job. I do think they did pretty decent I just feel like getting a new one would be a little better um of course but here we are Nissan GTR this thing still does look amazing I mean the looks of it it has decent customization the best part is it is a free car so a lot of people with um you know that are new to GTA have it which sucks but not really it's cool that they could get a cool car like this for free I'm a GTR. I just don't appreciate when they get it for free and then uh, rice it out. I swear, I'll see lower ranks all the time. They'll have a GTR, but all rice the fuck out. That makes me want them, want them to make people pay money for it. But then I thought about it the one day and I was like, you know what? People rice out cars. That you can just put, you know, that's like two million, fucking one million. People are ricing them out, so it really doesn't matter anymore. I thought about it. Um, one cool thing about the LG is the engine. It's the only engine that looks like this in the game. Except they did for the faction custom and a few of the low riders. They had the engines with double turbos on it. It doesn't have the carbon thing under it though or anything. It, it's weird. It's just like a muscle block with two turbos. <laughs> um, those are the only cars that actually did end up getting the same. The only thing that's the same is the twin turbos. Which obviously that's the main part though. But it's still, this is the only engine that looks like this because it has the, the carbon fiber like block with the things on top. What's cool about this car is it doesn't come stock like this. It comes stock, I believe, like without the turbos and shit. Um, and once you upgrade EMS and everything, it's like a little Easter egg that they add them in. That's the crazy part. Uh, I know for a fact on PS3, it, did, it definitely didn't come with any engine upgrades or I mean with that engine with any on the engine upgrades but once you put like full maybe it's just turbo I believe it's probably just turbo um you know it doesn't have the chrome turbos until you actually put the turbo on I believe um it's probably still like that but yeah it's just weird <laughs> how that upgrades the looks of the engine it's the only car in the game to do that it's still on 93,000 if you don't have social club though it's not free if you don't have social club so you might as well just make one um they also do bonus weeks where you get like 250k for going on social club and shit so if you don't have social club already though i'd sign up i mean this car is worth it alone you know i mean it's better than paying 93k <laughs> um in my opinion why not take you know 10 minutes of your time to sign up on social club and save 93k in game if it, if it would even take 10 minutes probably take less you just gotta connect the accounts and shit real quick but anyways i'll go show you customization options um and talk about the car more so handling on the car it's all wheel drive so it handles very nice but it does tend to understeer sometimes so you ought to watch out for that um, I don't know why it tends to understeer, it just kind of spins out some every once in a while. If you have good control of the car, don't know how to drive it, it won't do that. I'm just saying for beginners. Speed on it, it, ha it actually does have a top speed faster than the retro, just not the acceleration. So, it has a higher top speed than the retro though, just not acceleration. So there's that, but yeah, here's customizations. Now I'm not stalking, that's, that's the first one. That one looks kind of clean, but it just doesn't fit with my build. With the whole, you know what I mean? I'd have to make the, every side, the back, the front, the side carbon. It just doesn't fit with my build. But it's pretty cool because it says ACL or LR or whatever the hell right there. Um, and yeah, that's really it for the front. Now the back, you got stock rear bumper. Eh. You got carbon rear diffuser. Even more. Eh. Uh, you got painted. I, I really do like the painted. But I had to go with the painted in the fuser. Um, I hate diffusers. I'm not a diffuser person. Um, but it's the only way to get the Bayshore sticker. If you could have this with the Bayshore sticker, I'd throw it on. But you need a diffuser to get that Bayshore sticker on it. 
and that bay shore looks it just adds character to the car so i like it you know i'm gonna keep it on it's like a sticker personalization um stock exhaust yeah i like the stock ones but there's others that one these ones look stupid i think and then these ones look okay and then these ones are like the oem and i just think they fit the style of the car more ew so there's stock grill and then they got the black grill the black grill looks horrible jeez and then inner cooler i like the inner cooler hoods vented it's just a huge big ass fucking vent that's ugly double vent even more ugly um yeah i don't like any of them i wouldn't mind if it was just like a regular like just just vents but i don't like how it has them like you know like the things that sit higher than the actual hood going around the vents like the little linings same with this one if it was just like the thing like it it has the whole fucking little lip thing going on there you know like little and then it stops though like it doesn't wrap around the whole car or nothing or not around the whole car but i'm saying if it like did that but the lines maybe went up the whole entire hood to the front windshield i'd probably like it more i don't like how it just starts and stops in the middle of the fucking hood it's just like hey we're gonna put these bumps in the middle of your fucking gtr's hood it just doesn't look right i'd rather it be stock carbon i guess wouldn't be that bad but you have to go for a carbon bill that's the thing i i've never been one of them people that are super into carbon you can put a roll cage in it if you desire not nothing really special just old ps3 looking you know roll cage of course from ps3 though uh carbon roof if you were going for the carbon build you can make the whole entire roof carbon so go for that um the side skirts there's a lot to offer here um custom skirts one it's just painted side skirts custom two is just carbon side skirts this one adds a thing on the back to make it like wider like a arch fender or whatever um i went just off with it because it doesn't have arches on the front so i didn't want it to look like you know like big bulgy in the back but not in the front um i mean i guess i don't know i just went with you know i just went with the number one but you could do the same thing there, you know, carbon even, just with the little thing, wheel well thing sticking out. Spoilers, there's none. There's low level, there's high spoiler. Uh, none and high level look close. They're just a little bit tilted. Uh, there's the carbon wing, and then there's the GT wing. I actually like none of these spoilers. But I did do the little scroll glitch, where the scroll glitch is where you hit X on the 16K one, and then hurry up and like do that. Like I have one hand, so one thumb on the top D stick, one on the bottom, and it's where you hover over GT wing after it's selected. You got to purchase it, but I'm not wasting 16K. Um, Cause I like I want a spoiler. Do I want a spoiler? Oh, wait, I have this one. I thought I'd high level. I have the tuner wing. I don't know. Maybe this thing would look better without a spoiler. Or, like, one like that. I don't like these. I don't know. This one looks like a fucking Subaru STI wing. I'll show you how to do the glitch in a second. I like that one, kind of, but not really. I don't like how the front of it, like, sits so low. I guess that one maybe. Oh, I might go with none. Can you just scroll it off without? Oh yeah, you can. You don't even have to purchase it, huh? I still gotta hit six k. Should I though? Yeah, all the glitches is you um, just hover on bottom and hurry up. Just keep switching on and off. Till you land up and down, till you land back on none, and then boom. That does kind of look nice. Everyone's GTR always has fucking spoilers. Alright, well, that's that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Um, I do kind of like my spoiler. But yeah, this is the, the GTR, the badass. GTR, it's all wheel drive, so handles good. Um, overall, I mean, I just really like this car, you know. 
it's a very nice car. Like, it's very responsive, but at the same time, it's not real, real drive, so don't expect to hurry up and let the ass end kick out, you know? Um, and lose speed to, for a corner. This thing really grips. This is a gripping car. It's also the only car in the whole entire game that has a red speedometer like this. Um, the funny part is when they added light colors to Benny's, they don't work properly. If you put like blues and yellows in the very bright day sunlight, you can't see them. Um, maybe it's that they didn't put the brightness of the lights up enough, but it sucks. It acts as if, well you can still see the color there, that's the thing. It's just this, the uh, sun shines so bright it covers up all the numbers, so you can't see how fast you're going. So that's stupid, but yeah. This is the only car in the game with red RPM dials, like stock, and that aren't like the weird different kind, like, like it doesn't look like this red at all. This red, here's the difference. The light colors and Benny's, for example, look like more like lights, but them ones and these just look like they're painted on. Like when I actually think they are, <laughs> and that is the real actual difference. You have dim, very you know, you have dim lights and Benny's, and these just pretty much look like you know the ones that come stock. They look like paint, not lights. Because when you get in, you even look, then the light comes on. But it, you know what I mean? It's pretty cool though. It does have its own interior. I don't know if the steering wheel. Oh yeah, look. You can't ever see the steering wheel in first person, but look, it has the the Nissan symbol on it. And um, if you look over here, I think it's just the same identical one the Banshee has, but it it has all the shit. I don't know. And it's a stick. What do you know? All right. Oh wait, I want to see the floor mats. I, I keep getting out. I don't think it's anything special with the floor mats. Nope. I'll just take this bitch for a spin. I don't care if it's wrecked. I won't wreck it again. Fuck it. Fuck that door. Okay, that, that car just messed my all wheel drive burnout. <laughs> I don't think you can do one. A little one. Yeah, it, it grips too much. The walk system It's a maniac. Okay, why well, just grip so much? I want to ring that person. I said I wasn't gonna wreck again. I'm looking like shit on video. Okay, time to time to throw out the the race. Look at that bam! Like, dude, that elephant boy did that drift on purpose. Oh shit! I knew I was gonna hit him. I'm going too quick. I'm high as fuck. That's why I drive bad in the game when I'm high. I don't know why. Um, anyways, this is the Nissan GTR, aka LG, regular. Um, sign on, peace.